What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Let's just um, address some of the small shit. I addressed this little nigga before, and I'm gonna do it again, and hopefully for the last time. You have a nigga by the name of Soid Drone Slayer, who stays on my nutsack. Riding, running up and down my videos that have to do with me criticizing uh, the black community or so-called black community. And basically he came to the one that I was talking about, uh, can uh, white people be racist doing black music? And this dude came on there with his same song and dance talking about oh you're always giving white people a pass and this and that and um you know i went back and forth with him i basically said so where in the video did i say that diabolic the one who's beefing with talib kwali a diabolic had a better song simply because he was white i didn't say that i stated exactly why i believe that he had a better better um diss record i'm not gonna go into that go watch the video if you want I still stand by what I say. Um, <clears throat> and this dude went on and on and and basically I told him this, and this goes to any Negro who thinks the same, and I know there's a bunch of y'all that that think like this. Any um, Negro that has the, the, the group think mindset. <laughs> See, niggas like him, they don't, they really don't want black people to progress because they believe that if you have, if you're black and you're and and uh, the any person that uh, uh, by you is black or shares the same skin color or whatever, y'all should think the same. You should have the same opinions. You shouldn't criticize each other, even though other races do. That's how they progress. Even though black people back in the day, that's how they progressed because people thought outside the box. They weren't thinking the fucking same. I've, I've said this several times on my channel. Those are the black people that I like to be around because if I'm saying something and, you know, they're, 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 they're um, coming to me and saying something, you know, that may be different. They may say, hey, bro, you know, think about it this way. And, you know, I could be put on to, to something new. You know, that, that's how ideas are, are formed. That's how races and cultures progress, by just brainstorming or sitting around discussing shit. And if you agree, I mean, excuse me, if you disagree, then you just say, hey, listen, I, I can't fuck with that, but let's build on something that we have in common. But see, this nigga doesn't understand this. And, and there's tons of niggas like this that run around, oh, man, you have nothing Nothing good to say about black people. You're like Painless Risen or Tommy Sotomayor, David Carroll, so and so. I, I, listen, the great Thomas Soul said this If you want to help people, tell them the truth. I believe it's Thomas Soul. If you want to help people, tell them the truth. If you want to help yourself, tell them what they want to hear. And you know what they say about truth. Truth is something that's very hard to swallow. Truth will usually get you, make you a target of something. So listen, what, what do you think I'm trying to do? I'm not helping myself. I'm trying to help you niggas out. So yeah, and then the other thing he said is, oh, you don't, you don't go at white people with the same vitriol or some shit, uh, something uh, to that effect. Listen, first of all, I told this nigga, go, go search my videos where I talk about um, other white people and you know other races and shit that do dumbass shit so i mean not that that should validate anything but i do do it i'm an equal opportunity offender shout out to um robert kirby by the way for for pointing that out uh, i mean you know for repeating that for me 
I'm an equal opportunity offender. I don't like stupidity. I don't like ignorance. But, you know, I, I told this dude, I said, yeah, I'm going to be a little bit more harder on black people because I am black. It's just like, uh, I believe uh, Tommy Sotomayor said this on one of his live cast, uh, live podcast things or live shows, I should say. He said this, which is a perfect comparison. He goes, hey, if, if I'm in a house and I have children and... Uh, you know, I know my neighbors got children or whatever. And well, I don't believe he said it like this, but it's something to this effect. He goes and uh, the neighbor's kids are bad and my kids are bad. Who am I going to be um, harder on? I'm going to be harder on my kids because I don't give a fuck what the other what the uh, neighbor's kids are doing because they're not my kids. And it makes sense. I'm black. You know what? What certain niggas do comes back to affect me in one way or another. So yeah, I'm gonna speak on ignorant shit. I'm gonna say, hey, wake the fuck up. Just like a fucking football team. You don't see uh, the fucking uh, coach of the Panthers going out or any uh, team players of the Panthers talking about what other team players, are, what other teams are doing. Hey, the Miami Dolphins are doing this. No, worry about your own shit. Get your own shit in order. But yeah, anyway, you know, I, I, listen, listen, nigga. I, I know you're gonna come and respond and say some retarded shit and try to uh, come with uh, shaming tactics and ad hominem attacks. Let me tell you something. If you start on that shit, I'm just straight up blocking your ass. That's it. That's number one. Any nigga that comes with that shit, I'm blocking you. Um, yeah, so um, now that we address the small shit, we have the um, <clears throat> recent shooting of Alton Sterling. Now, um... It's still pretty fresh in the news. I usually wait for the smoke to clear before I have somewhat of an opinion on it. Uh, but I'm going to jump on it now since uh, I'm talking about this shit. Everyone's seen the video by now. Um, a tragedy. Uh, I, I, I don't believe that this dude um, should have been shot like he was. But the information in the beginning to me is kind of kind of foggy uh you know this dude was at a triple s which is some type of um convenience store and i guess he went outside i'm not i, I you know there was a report of someone uh waving a gun i believe but from what the video shows is the altercation already start, starts happening with these two cops and they have this man uh alton sterling pinned to the ground and um <clears throat> Hang on a minute. Let me make this fucking turn here. I got to reverse. They have this dude pinned to the fucking ground. And um, one of the cops is yelling, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. And next thing you know, shots pop off. But they, they, the dude was already pinned down. Let me straighten out and talk to you. Hold on a minute. This dude was already pinned down. And um, you would think, you know, that two cops on top of this dude, they would have control of the situation or whatever. But you do see, because there was another, um, another bit of camera footage that came out that had, um, it was from a different angle where you see the cop remove something from Alton Sterling's pocket after they shot him while he was on the ground. So it may, he may have had a gun, I don't know. Um, but I will say this, for him to be shot like an animal with just this footage, with the little that we know now, yeah, I believe those cops were in the fucking wrong. Um, you know, if, if more evidence comes out, you know, I'll be making another video addressing this, but right now that this does look like an unjust uh, shooting. <clears throat> um, you know, I try to I try to have a little bit of um, logic, a little bit of uh, reasoning, not not getting emotional when it comes down to things like this, because you have to. This is why I let the smoke clear before I um, usually put my two cents in. But yeah, from from what we see right now. It does look like an unjust shooting. Um, this is one of the few, you know, I, I've gone in, I've been critical about Eric Garner, um, um, Walter Scott. I've been critical about 
um, people, uh, situations like that, because I believe that it, uh, in their cases, like Freddie Gray, if they di had done things differently, <clears throat> they might have been alive today. But you could go see those videos and, and uh, see what I have to say about that. I'm not going to rehash it, but rest in peace, Alton Sterling. No one should have to, Alton Sterling, no one should have to go out like that. Um, if these cops, well, they, they appear wrong, uh, they should be tried to the fullest extent of the law. That's what I believe. And um, yeah, if anything else comes out, I will be, ma be making another video to this. But yeah, uh, fuck you, Soid Drone Slayer. Fuck you. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. And that's it. Peace, bitches.